Welcome to the Bowwater Mersey Newsprint Mill. Before beginning work on the site, we want to make you aware of the safety programs in effect and our expectations for your safe work practices. It is the contractor's responsibility to ensure that you are familiar with and comply with the Nova Scotia Health and Safety Act, the Occupational Safety General Regulations, the Fall Protection and Scaffolding Regulations, the First Aid Regulations, the WIMIS Regulations, and all associated regulations, codes of practice, and standards that apply to the work you are doing. Mill safety rules are established to ensure sound working practices that will promote efficient operations, good housekeeping, and the protection of all persons on site. The project controller is your contact while on site. Your supervisor will have discussed your responsibilities and your project outline with the project controller to ensure you understand what is expected of you while on site. You will be required to stay within your authorized work area. Please ensure that you understand the specific site rules and regulations governing your job as indicated by the project controller. If you are unsure, ask. The rules set out in the following are to be observed at all times. Failure to comply with these rules can result in your removal from the site. You will be expected to have the required safety and personal protective equipment with you at all times. You will enter and depart the mill site through the main entrance, gate number four. You will be required to observe all traffic regulations set forth in the Motor Vehicle Act of Nova Scotia. There is a maximum speed limit of 25 kilometers an hour on the site. An outside party service permit must be processed for you to enter the site. Your project controller will make the arrangements for your permits. Contractors working outside the main mill site, such as the ASB site or Nickerson's Pond, must make prior arrangements with the project controller. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Contractors entering and exiting the property by vehicle will report to the gatehouse each time and your vehicles may be subject to spot checks. It is always wise to carry a manifest of the contents of your vehicle. Only contractor, company-owned vehicles will be allowed on site. A vehicle permit must be completed for any vehicles you have on site. Contractors entering by foot must use the proximity card that has been issued or check in at the gatehouse and pick up a visitor pass. These must be turned in at the gate when your project is complete. If you are bringing a construction trailer on site, you will be directed to where it will be located. It must never be located closer than 20 feet to any building. Many areas have yellow lines marking the perimeters of the safe areas. Always walk and stay within these lines. Access to the mill is restricted to your particular work area. Smoking is not permitted on site. This is a smoke-free workplace. Contractors are required to supply their own lunchroom and washroom facilities. Water from mill taps must not be used for drinking. Mersey tools and equipment can only be used after obtaining permission through the project controller. The use or possession of liquor or unregulated drugs is strictly prohibited. If you see an emergency, dial 111 on any company phone and provide particulars regarding location and nature of emergency to the security guard. If you have a cell phone, call 354-3445, extension 111. Hello, Gatehouse. Fire in the east end of the TMP basement. Thank you, I'll make the announcement. To request assistance in the case of a fire, a call 111 and report the, the fire to the security basement. guard. Give the location and nature of the fire, whether it be oil, electrical, etc. Make sure the plant security guards understand the exact location of the fire. Carry out whatever action you can safely perform to contain the fire while waiting for help to arrive. It is the contractor's responsibility to ensure there is a minimum of one employee first aider for each crew with a proper first aid kit. If you require additional assistance, the mill has a complete first aid station at this location. There are also mill first aiders who are available to assist. If you are in trouble, find the nearest phone and dial 111. All incidents, no matter how insignificant, must be reported to your project controller and followed up with a written report. Class E hard hats and safety glasses with fixed side shields must be worn at all times except in lunchrooms or office areas. You must wear CSA approved footwear, class one for steel toe and plate and shock resistant. Hearing protection must be worn in areas greater than 84 dB. When on the wharf during paper loading operations, an orange reflective safety vest must be worn. Energized equipment is to be locked out before you can work on it. 
make sure you contact the supervisor and the operator of any equipment that must be locked out. Confirm the test attempt to start after the equipment has been locked out and before you start any work. There is a lockout video that outlines the procedures in full and Bowwater will provide additional training if required. If you are required to work in a confined space, you must have received confined space entry training in the previous 24 months. You will require a permit which will be initiated by your project controller. The area may need to be locked out. It will also be necessary to test for gas to ensure the area is safe to enter. When you are ready to proceed into a confined space, you must have a standby person on watch at all times. Hot work permits are required for any work involving open flames or work producing heat and or sparks. The permits are issued by the project controller. Okay. Ensure you have the proper fire extinguishers available. When the hot work permit requires mill fire watch personnel, they must remain on standby for at least a half an hour after the last hot work is completed. There may be more industrial accidents caused from falling than any other means. Contractors are obliged to supply sufficient and properly approved fall restraint and arrest equipment for every employee needing the same and ensure that the individuals are trained in its use. Ladders are a common sight in construction but are also a common cause of accidents. Ladders must be in good condition and tied off when in use. Ladders are not to be used for the support of staging planks. When working in electrical areas, only non-conductive ladders may be used. Only CSA Class 1 or better ladders are permitted on the site. All scaffolding and fall arrest must comply with the fall protection and scaffolding regulations. The mill has a high-level rescue team which can come to your aid should a mishap occur. They are available by dialing the emergency number 111. Barricades must be placed around all work areas that pose hazards to employees, including excavations. Barrier tape may be used to limit or prevent access to work areas. Yellow caution tape indicates a hazard. Red tape states danger, do not enter. Tag any tape installed to explain the nature of the hazard. The contractor must obtain approval for any chemicals he brings in on the site. There are MSDS available for all chemicals. Observe these signs and read the sheets on any containers you may be required to work with. You must have been trained in WIMIS to work on site. Note the location of the emergency eye wash stations and shower nearest your work area. In the event of a spill or other hazard, there is a Mill Environment Hazardous Materials team that you can reach by calling 111. In an emergency, take every effort to contain spills and call the Mill team for backup. There are no known PCBs in service on the site. Any gasoline will be brought on site in these Type 1 metal containers with tested approved closures with pressure relief and free flow double mesh flame resistant spouts. Known asbestos materials are tagged and or painted orange. And if removal is required, it must be done by trained personnel only. Do not attempt to repair or remove any asbestos tagged equipment. If you come across any asbestos material that is not tagged, contact your project controller. Many of the original areas of the mill contain lead paint. Proper procedures must be followed and protective equipment worn while removing, cutting or burning on lead painted surfaces. Respirators shall be used if the type of work being done requires their use. Contractors are required to ensure their employees are properly fit tested. All power tools must be grounded. Most plugs are ground faults in the mill. Where possible, extension cords must be hung at least eight feet above floor level. Defective cords or cords with frayed insulation must not be used. Conveyors may start up automatically. They can start or stop at any time. Do not stand or ride on conveyors. Always be extra careful when working around conveyors. Know the location of the emergency stops. When moving around on site or working near lifting devices, observe all signals for the overhead cranes. Only qualified, designated, competent workers are allowed to operate the mill cranes and only with prior authorization. When lifting, check that the capacity of the crane is sufficient for the lift. Anyone operating lift trucks, man lifts, zoom booms, backhoes, etc., must have received training in their operation and must be designated in writing by their employer as a competent operator. Explosive activated tools are to be used by a trained person. Tools must be returned to their cases as soon as the job is done. Poor housekeeping is the cause of many accidents. At Bowwater Mersey, all contractors must maintain a clean and neat work area. There are receptacles for trash at various locations around the mill. Trash must be sorted and placed in the proper receptacle. 
always ensure that you do a daily cleanup before you leave the site. Sweep the work area and bend or remove all nails. Where needed, post danger signs. It is a requirement that you have weekly safety toolbox meetings. Safety meetings are the first step to the safe completion of your work with us. The intention of this video has been to make you aware of the rules and regulations put in place to keep our mail a safe and secure place to work. Please ensure that you do your part to support our safety program. And remember, if you have any questions, now is the time to ask them. Welcome to the Bowwater Mersey Mill.